In this video, we'll be doing lesson 6-8, where we look at percent of change. So, the percent of change is the percent a quantity increases or decreases from its original amount. Okay, so how much it increases or decreases from its original amount in the form of a percent is essentially what we're going to be finding. So we're gonna put some steps onto the side, steps for doing this. Step one, subtract to find the change amount. So you're gonna subtract to figure out how much it has changed. Then you're gonna make a fraction where you have the change amount over the original amount. And then you're going to divide that. Oops. So set up the fraction and then it divide it. And then step three, you're going to turn it to a percent, which remember we learned that means we're going to times it by 100. Okay, so you're going to subtract to find the change amount, amount it changes. You're gonna set up a fraction with the change amount on the top and the original amount on the bottom, and then you're gonna divide that, so change amount divided by original amount. And then you're gonna take what you get and you're gonna turn it into a percent by, or by timesing it by 100. Okay, usually the word from will come before the original amount. So that will help you to know uh, which one is the original and which one is what you're changing to. So it says find the percent of increase from 8 to 9.6. So when we're subtracting, we're going to always do the biggest number minus the smallest number. So 9.6 minus 8 gives me 1.6. Then we're going to set up our fraction. So we're going to have our change amount. Uh, they want us to write it in words first. So we're going to say the amount of change over the original amount. Right, which is what we have over there for step two. The amount of change for this one is 1.6 because it's what we got by subtracting. The original amount, it says from 8, increase from 8 to 9.6. So from 8 means that we're going to put it over 8. Then we're gonna do the division. Once we've done that, right, it says then divide over here in our steps. So 1.6 divided by eight is gonna give me 0 0.2. And then that last step, we're gonna turn it into a percent by timesing it by 100, and we get 20%. So the percent of increase from eight to 9.6 is 20%. Okay, so these steps will come in handy as we are doing it, again, we subtract to find the change amount, which we did here, 9.6 minus 8, because we went from 8 to 9.6. We always do big minus the small. And then we set it up with our amount of change over the original amount. So 1.6 we put on top. Original amount was from 8, so over 8. We divided these and got 0 0.2. Then our last step is to turn it to a percent, so we times it by 100, and we got 20%. All right, so find each percent of increase. So we're gonna go from 100 to 114. So step one, we're gonna subtract to find our amount of change. So we're gonna say 114 minus 100 equals 14. That is our amount of change. Then we're gonna set up our fraction where we put our amount of change over the original amount. It says from 100, so we're gonna put it over 100. And we're going to divide that. 14 divided by 100 is 0 0.14. 0 
0.14 times 100, because we're going to turn it into a percent, is that last step, is 14%. Okay? This is an increase. On some of your homework, you're going to have to label if it's an increase or a decrease. You look at what you went from and what you went to. If it gets bigger, it's an increase. If it gets smaller, then we're going to say it's a decrease. So since we went from 100 to 114, this is an increase. So showing our work, step one, we did our subtraction. Step two, we set up our fraction and did our division. Step three, we took that answer and times it by 100 to get our percent. So that's how you're going to show your work for B and C. Go ahead and pause your video and do those two, and then we'll come back together and check them. All right, from 2.0 to 3.2. So what you should have done, 3.2 minus 2.0 gives us 1.2. That's our amount of change. So we put 1.2 on top over 2.0 because it said from 2.0. And we do the division. When we do the division, we got 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times 100. We should have gotten 60% as our answer. This was an increase because we went from 2.0 to 3.2, which is getting bigger. So that is an increase. For C, we have 8,500 minus 4,000, which got us 4,500. That's our amount of change. 4,500 over 4,000 is our fraction. It's over 4,000 because it said from 4,000 to 8,500. So we started at 4,000 as our original. When you do that division, you should get 1. Point, excuse me, 125. 1. 1.125 times 100 equals 112.5%. This is also an increase because we went from 4,000 to 8,500, which is getting bigger. So that would be an increase. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and flip your paper over and we'll do the back. So in a given year, Hillsborough had a total of 7.5 inches of rain by March 1st and a total of 22.5 inches by July 1st. Find the percent of increase from 7.5 to 22.5. So that's what we're doing. So step one, we do 22.5 minus... 7.5, and we should get 15. They want us to write in words, so we're going to say amount of change. It's always what goes on top over the original amount. So the amount of change for this was 15. The original amount from 7.5, so it's over 7.5. When we do that division, we get 2. When we times that by 100, we get 200%. So the percent of increase from March 1st to July 1st was 200%. Okay, so that is still an increase because it went from 7.5 to 22.5. All right, next one. Find the percent of decrease from 1,250 to 1,120. So we still do this the same way. So we go 1,250 minus 1,120, and we should get 130. This time it's still the amount of change over the original amount. Amount of change, we did our subtraction to get 130. Original amount, it says from 1,250. So we're going to put 1,250 on the bottom. When we do that division, 130 divided by 1,250, we should get 0 0.104. When we times that by 100, we should get 10.4%. 
So the percent of decrease from 12,250 to 1,120, see how that number goes down? That's why it's a decrease, is 10.4%. All right, let's do some quick checks. So in the same year as in example two, so this one right up here, Hillsborough had a total of 10.5 inches of rain by April 1st. So find the percent of increase from 7.5 to 10.5. Okay, from 7.5 7 to 10.5. So we're gonna have you go ahead and try this one on your own. Showing your work the same way we did on the other side of the page in those quick checks. And then we'll come back together and check it. All right, so what we should have done is 10.5 minus 7.5, which is 3. Then we make our fraction. I'm going to just go over here. So we should have had 3 over... 7.5 because it's over the original amount and it says from 7.5. When we do that division, we got 0 0.4. 0 0.4 times 100 was that last step. So we should have gotten 40% and it is an increase because it goes from 7.5 up to 10.5, which means it's getting bigger. So it is an increase. Okay, so step one, subtract. Step two, fraction and then divide. Step three, turn it into a percent by timesing it by 100. All right, find the percent of decrease. So from 9.6 to 4.8, so we're going to go step one, 9.6 minus 4.8, and we get 4.8. Then we put 4.8 over our original amount. It said from 9.6. So it goes over 9.6. When we do that division, we get 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 100 to turn it into a percent is going to give us 50%. This is a decrease because we went from 9.6 to 4.8. So it's getting smaller, so we say decrease. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pause our video and do B and C on our own, and then we'll come back together and check them. Okay, so hopefully what we did for B was 202 minus 192, which was 10. 10 over 202 because it said from 202. When we did that division, we got 0 0.049. 0 0.049 times 100 is that last step, and we got 4.9%. It is a decrease because our numbers are getting smaller from 202 to 192. And then for C, hopefully what we did was 854.5 minus 60.6, which equals 793.9. 793.9 over, it said from 854.5. So that's the bottom of our fraction. When we do that division, we get 0 0.929. 0 0.929 times 100 is that last step to get 92.9%. Still a decrease because we went from 854.5 to 60.6, .6, which is down by 92.9%. So that wraps up lesson 6-8, where we looked at percent of change.